All right, just got some more clips of Sam get the show where he's describing just the, the constant trouble that Stephen Anderson's new IFB cult is giving to Baptist churches all over North America and even in different countries. You know, this is this is part of the reason why I've done so many videos exposing Anderson. The main reason is because I've actually left this cult. I was part of this cult for about two years, then left. And of course, uh, about a year later, got born again by the grace of God. But essentially, Steve Anderson's new IFB call poses a real big problem to the, to the independent Baptist movement and just Baptist churches in general in North America because it's a constant thing of just his, his little, little cult members. I mean, there's a Baptist church about an hour away from me that was infiltrated by some of Anderson's followers and the pastor tells them to, to not, you know, push Steve Anderson's heresies and, you know, they just keep doing it. I mean, it's just a constant, just regular basis. And you're going to see this where Sam Gipp is talking about, this was back in 2015, a clip I'm going to show, where he's saying how he actually had like 10 different pastors tell him about issues they've had with Stephen Anderson's cult. Check this out. Okay, listen, I got a YouTube station, YouTube channel, and um, uh, it's only been up for three months. We have over 11,000 views. I made a video about Israel, uh, about uh, this Stephen Anderson, and, um, and I put it on there. Out of that 11,000 views, 6,800 of them are people viewing that one. You say, why? It's everywhere. When I made that video, I got responses from China, from England, from Australia. I have had pastors all over the country say, that guy's in my church. He's in some of your churches, you don't even know it. And you know why you're not gonna be able to defeat him? Because you believe the same thing. Now that was back in 2015. It's gotten a whole lot worse. This next clip is from 2018. And now it's it's apparently now like every single church, you know, that Gip is visiting per week. He goes, he's invited to a different church about every two weeks or so. Nearly every single one he's invited to has has, has been having issues with Anderson's followers. So it's not just, you know, oh, they're, you know, they're, yeah, they got some false doctrines. No, they're actively trying to infiltrate other Baptist churches on a constant basis. Okay, check this out. Let me explain something about Stephen Anderson. You say, why do you keep talking about him? Because he's out of hell and because he is destroying churches and he is a wolf, okay? Well, I don't like you to hear, hear you talk. Then do this. Because I am telling you, I am in there. I Every single week, every church I'm in, someone comes and tells me, here's what Anderson did, here's what his people did, here's what his people did. I am telling you people that Stephen Anderson is more of a threat to our churches than the Jehovah Witnesses and the Mormons put together. Again, this is the reason why I stay on Stephen Anderson's cult, because they are a major problem to the Bible-believing movement. See, Anderson is propped up by the media as some kind of King James-only advocate, when really, you know, he's just simply a plant. I, I, I personally believe this. He, he's actually just some kind of plant. To, that was put in there to pose as a, as, a, as a King James Bible believer, but he and his new IFB cult purposely will get on in front of a camera and make absolute fools out of themselves and just say all kinds of just insane radical stuff, you know, and, and then get in the media to associate the stuff they say with King James onlyism because they'll point out, you know, the King James only, you know, they're King James only. So it demonizes the Bible belief movement and demonizes the Baptist movement. The traditional Baptist movement has nothing in common with the so-called new independent Baptist movement. The big thing is that this, this so-called new IFB, which they have zero, nothing in common with traditional Baptists, is the fact that they support a theocracy. I have clips of one of their spokesmen, you know, Ben the Baptist, little ben, he's a fake Baptist. And he's coming out and supporting a theocracy. Okay, the, the, the traditional Baptists have never, they've always opposed theocracy. They've always supported religious liberty. So this new IFB is a plant, just like the whole West Grove PSYOP. They're, they're a plant under the name of Baptist to demonize the actual Baptist movement and just Bible believers as a whole. That's why I stay on this cult. So the next time the media comes out and tries to link them with actual born again saints, then you know, we, you know, I can come out and just say, hey, you know, I've, I've been exposing this guy. I have lots of videos exposing this guy. Others have done lots of videos exposing him. So yeah. He's, he, we've been exposing him for years. So that's the truth of the matter. So anyway, don't be deceived by Steve Anderson. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.